Hello everyone, this video is for you. It's a daily video that tells you what zone we're in, what basic weekly plan we're working on, and reminds you of your routines. Take a look, you'll see that these three things are here. Um, there may be some other things in there that may or may not relate to the time of year, but that's okay. Enjoy. Hello Fly Babies, it's me, your Fly Lady Cat. Today is Sunday and I'm here today to give you peace in your life, control in your home, and to help you learn how to finally love yourself. So we're going to get up this morning knowing that this is Renew Your Spirit Day uh, and get ourselves ready and then get the children ready with our morning routines, have breakfast. Um, after breakfast, go on to church. If you have to, um, and you're, if the kids are wearing really nice clothes to church, you might want to let them put them on after breakfast because there's a rule. If they wear casual clothes, they won't get anything on them. If they wear nice clothes, they're going to get something on them. <laughs> so I know my church, we wear casual clothes most of the time, so it's not an issue. But if you do wear nicer clothes, make sure to think about that. Okay, also wear an apron yourself if you don't want to get you know bacon grease on your dress. Next thing is go to church when you come back, if you choose to go to church. When you come back, um, have your day together. You know, you only have three routines today. Morning routine, after dinner routine, before bed routine, because there's, there's no laundry and there's no paper on Sunday. There's no zones on Sunday. So this is a super easy day. So you're gonna do your morning routines, go to church, come back, have a nice dinner, after dinner routine, family included, and then your before bed routines. Now. Today is Sunday, so I want you to take a look at your planner and make sure it's filled out for the week as best you can. You may not have all your meals on there because you haven't made your menu yet. Um, if you make it typically on Wednesday, then you'll have at least Monday and Tuesday, possibly Wednesday meals on there. So you can have that on there. Um, put on, on the planner your zones and your basic weekly plan items and routines. Now routines are probably in your mind. You know what to do. If you don't, make sure you have them written down or make sure you listen to these daily videos. Every day I'll walk you through your routines. Uh, the morning routine I don't so much right now because we majored in that last season. So make sure you have it written down if you haven't, if you've forgotten them. All right, and then before bed, we're going to do a before bed routine. So don't forget, even on Sunday, three clutter checks three clutter checks. We're going to keep the clutter at bay so that you're not having to go uh, and bail yourself out from clutter before you can even get into your zone again. That's no fun. We're going to keep the, bed, the clutter at bay. Three clutter checks a day. That is a self-discipline for you. It is not a meanness. I'm not being mean or harsh. I'm, help, I'm giving you the truth. <laughs> so we want to keep the clutter at bay. And also when you clutter check, it's not a meanness for your children. It's a kindness and you're showing them where they've left things thoughtlessly. It's not that they are a thoughtless person, it's the kind of people we all tend to be. We just put things where we don't even know that we've done it. Just like you sit your phone down and don't remember where you put it, it's the same thing. So be kind, but be firm, and get the clutter picked up three times a day, and let them know that they're not alone, that you do it too, you know, and so it'll make it easier. All right, and then after your clutter checks, you're gonna do your before bed routine tonight, Again, before bed routine, clutter check, and then the children's before bed routine, and then your before bed routine. So kids' before bed routine is clutter check, and then 30 minutes before bed, give them a warning, and then five minutes before the before bed routine, give them a warning. It's not a mean warning, it's just a reminder. And then uh, that gets their little heads ready so that they're not just pulled out of play. That's, that's gonna make them cry. It would make you cry too. <laughs> All right, and then you're going to have them um, pick up the things they're playing with or messing with, depends on their age, but those things have to be put away. And then it's pajamas, dirty clothes, teeth, sink, hand towel. So it's brush your teeth, clean out the sink from the toothpaste, hang up your hand towel if you use it, and then bath or shower, including hair if they're gonna wash it, and then uh, dirty clothes in the basket, towel, bath towel hung up so it can dry. Please try to see it from your children's point of view, especially if they're small and it's a struggle. They need something that they can reach. So get on your knees, get to their height and see how it would be for you to do it because we don't want to do it if it's a struggle and children have less discipline than we do. So find something easy for them like a hook or something that they can reach so they can hang their towel up and it can dry and then their pajamas on, pick out a story or a book, 
and then either you read aloud to them or an older sibling reads aloud or they read to themselves a book or two books your call a chapter or two chapters of a chapter book one or the other your call all right after they're settled in bed then you're going to get yourself ready so you're going to look at your planner you've already put those things in there tomorrow is a brand new week whether you are at home fly baby working as a mother at home or you're working from home as a payroll fly baby or you're working outside the home as a payroll fly baby it's a work week we have work to do so um, we're going to look and see what what to, the week calls for so you're going to look through there and make sure you've got your dentist appointment on there your doctor's appointments whatever is in there and what you're going to wear for that particular meeting or this particular thing that you're doing um, so you're going to lay out your clothes for tomorrow um, you're going to check the kitchen if everybody's in bed now you can make sure that everybody had put their dishes in the dishwasher if not go ahead and put those last few things in spray and wipe out your sink put a fresh towel out for the sink put the old towel in the laundry um, you know close your curtains turn off the lights those kinds of things now if you're still going to stay up with your husband don't leave him in the dark <laughs> and don't run the dishwasher yet run it after your shower or bath but let's go in the bathroom now we've got your PJs you got your clothes ready for tomorrow your jewelry your shoes Go ahead and take your bath or shower if you do that at night. If not, do that in the morning. Clean your face, brush your teeth, moisturize your skin, put on your pajamas, put your dirty clothes in the dirty clothes. If you have clean clothes, still hang them up to air out. Uh, maybe you just need to get a spot off of it. Hang it up to air out. And then, um, then what? Then what? Then we go to the, um, so we've done the kitchen, we've done the bathroom, hang your towel up, make sure the bathroom looks tidy. And then uh, you know what time you need to be asleep. So arrange to get in bed before that time so that you can watch your video or talk to your husband or watch television or read a book or whatever until that time where you need to go to sleep. And then when you need to go to sleep, arrange it so that you get your six, seven, eight, or nine hours, whatever your body requires, so that you can get up a half hour before the family in the morning. That's it. So I hope you had a fabulous, are going to have a fabulous Sunday and a great week, and I can't wait to see you tomorrow. Always remember that you are beautiful. Bye. I hope you enjoyed that, and I know that you're going to have a great time in your house today. Remember to focus on getting it done first, fast, make it fun, and get it finished. Complete the process, and don't let those little things bug you that you see that are for future dates. Use your planner, and always remember that you are beautiful.